Alright, hi I'm Michael and we are back with another game. Uh, so today's game is called Magical Squares and all you need to play is paper and pencil for them to write with. And each player is going to have a 3x3 three three square like that drawn and don't write Nashi. And the objective of each game is, uh, the objective of the game is to try and have as many columns, rows and diagonals that add up to the same total as possible. Now the way the game works is like this. To start with, each player is going to put a number in each of their four corners. Now, we're going to limit it today now to the numbers between 1 and 100, but I'll talk about the choice of numbers at the end. All right, now show between one and a hundred. Okay. Now, um, they each player does that in secret. You can do repeats if you want. So I can put fifty here, and I can also put fifty here. Okay. So let's do that first, Nash. So. Okay. So now, once Nash, you have filled in your four corners. Okay. So once both players have filled in their four corners, they can then reveal their numbers to each other. Oh. Okay. Okay. So once we've revealed, what happens is. Um, now I need to fill in the other four boxes around the edges, but I'm going to fill in those four boxes using Nash's four corner numbers. And Nash is going to fill in his four edge boxes using my four corner numbers. So Nash, I'm going to write down here, I need to do a two, a nine, a 99, and a 10. A hundred, a hundred. Okay, and so as you fill them in now, you can cross them off, okay? All right, let's go. Okay, and so once you've done that, the final step of the game is to fill in the middle box and you can use any number you want to do that. With every number in the range. Between one and a hundred, with the range we've agreed on. And then remembering your aim is to get as many of these having the same total as possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what I might do, Nash, is I'm going to actually, before you do yours, you might want to do this as well. I'm going to actually work out what my totals are at the moment. So that might help me fill in the middle box. Mm -hmm. That one doesn't have one yet. So. Yeah, so you can't so you can only do the ones that you've got totals for, yeah. So that one, that one, yeah. Um oh, this is pretty cool. 10 plus 10 is 28, 29, 37. Good job. Nash has got to work out what he's going to put in this middle box here. Remembering he's got these tails. Now, so far, Nash, you don't have a single match. I know. So you've got to try and see. So you got, obviously it's going to be the diagonal, the diagonal there and there. Is there any way you can make any of these numbers to get a match up here? I'm going to do the same as well. Um, and obviously there's going to be a lot of mental addition happening here. Wow. So we're going to fast forward this bit while he's working this out. Wow. Do you want a different colour so you can write down what the totals are so far? Yes. So like that one is 12 so far if you want to write that. Just maybe put a circle around to remind you it's only a so far total. I'm going to do the same. And then how yeah. many totals? Okay, now the way we do the scoring for this I've got 120 twice, so any pair scores you one point. So 120, 120 would be one point. Now I've also got 209 along there and 209 up there along the diagonal. So 209, 209 would be another point. So I finish with two points. Now if one of us had been smart enough to get three of one number, so 209, 209, 209, that would be two points. 
If we had four 209s, that would be three points and so on and so forth. So I scored two points. Nashi, how much did you score? One. Where's your pet? Where's your match? 21. So 21 along here. 10, 9 is 19 plus 2. Oh, and 10, 9 plus 2 is 21. So I would win that game two points to one. So that's how you play Magical Squares. It's a great strategy game. It's also really good for mental addition. Now I should say, we made the range of numbers today between one and 100. And I think the little bits of the video that you could see Nash adding up, that was a good range for Nash to work with. If you wanted to, you can make the numbers one to 10, if you had a younger student working or one to 20. But also equally, this game can be played with any size numbers at all. So you could open it up to make it any number. And theoretically, I could put a million in the top corner, zero in the bottom corner, 10,000 here and 86 here. So you can open it up to make it any number you want. Great thing about this game is you can play anywhere, anytime. All you need is paper and pencil. That's Magical Squares. Hope you enjoyed playing it. And we will see you next time. Bye. Goodbye.